my fellow Americans, we have taken major steps during the first few weeks of my administration to remove wasteful regulations and get our people back to work. I've been saying I was going to do that for a long time. This week, I signed two pieces of legislation to remove burdens on our economy, continue to keep my promises to the American people, and so much more. I signed House Joint Resolution 38, which eliminates an anti-coal regulation put forward by unelected bureaucrats. Our coal miners have been treated horribly, and we are going to turn that around, and we're going to turn it around quickly. We are going to fight for lower energy prices for all Americans as part of the deal. That's why I also signed a resolution to eliminate a costly regulation Dodd-Frank imposed on American energy companies. By stopping this regulation, we were able to save American companies and workers millions and millions of dollars in job-killing compliance costs. But to truly succeed as a country, we must realize the full potential of women in our economy. That is why I was thrilled to host the White House's Women's Business Leaders Roundtable. Very exciting, great women. As President, I am committed to ensuring that women entrepreneurs have equal access to the capital, markets, and networks of support that they need, and I mean really need, and it's going to happen. This is a priority for my administration. I campaigned on helping women in the workforce, and we are going to deliver on that promise, believe me. In fact, as part of my first official meeting with Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau, this week, we announced the creation of the Joint United States-Canada Council for Advancement of Women Entrepreneurs and Business Leaders. Actually, very exciting. The United States also reaffirmed our unbreakable bond this week with our cherished ally, Israel. It was an honor to welcome my friend, Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu, to the White House. I affirm to the Prime Minister America's commitment to working with Israel and our allies and partners toward greater security and stability. The threat of terrorism, and believe me, it is a threat, must be confronted and defeated, and we will defeat it. We share with Israel a deep conviction that we must protect all innocent human life. So as you head into President's Day weekend, the American people should know that we are working tirelessly on your behalf. We are not here for the benefit of bureaucrats, consultants, or pundits. We are here to work for you, and only for you, the American people. Thank you, God bless you, and God bless America.